Hello YouTube, I'm Thor Freedom from DigiTube and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to discuss a few of editors that are really easy to use and very simple that needs no learning, okay? So I discuss both Android and iOS. So first of all, let's talk about the shoutouts. So the shoutout goes to Altona Gaming. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but make sure to check out this channel. It's really good. And then we have Cold Flint. Make sure to check out this channel. These both channels are really good. So if you haven't made it to the shout out, uh, do not be sad. You will come in the next one, okay? So now get back to the topic. So for iOS, I'm gonna say iMovie is the best. It is very well optimized and really easy to use. So if you are, you know, daily vlogging, it's enough for you. You, it's free. That's really great. So if you want to step up, you can go to CuteCut. CuteCut is really good. I use this all the time because it gives you more like pro features that you get on the computer and the laptop. So, you know, you know what I mean. So you can color grade, you can crop, you can, you know, do many stuff that makes you eligible to make some really cool magic videos that I make. So then we have KineMaster, which is a successor to the CuteCut. It's really full featured. You can do green screen, which is chroma keying and some other really good stuff, but it's not optimized for iOS. You know, it's going to get your mobile phone really warm, hot, and sometimes it crashes. So you cannot really use it so happily. So I just advised to stay with iMovie or CuteCut. That is good. The fourth option, we have Filmora Go. That's really great. Filmora is doing great in the computer too, but it's doing great in the mobile phone as well. So till now, I've discussed iMovie, which is only for iOS. CuteCut, KineMaster, and Filmora Go are for all the devices. I mean, Android and iOS. Only iMovie is out of the list. Then we also have some other editors that I'll show you right now. Okay, so you can have Adobe Premiere Clip. Uh, yeah, it's not the Adobe Premiere Pro as you have in the computer, but still, it is really easy to use. Then we have Funimate. So, this is also more like a musically or video editing software. Then we have Movie Maker Filmmaker. So, this is also really great, but this is not over yet for you to choose which software or app is the best for you you have to check them one by one and see which one is easy for you but for me i have come to the conclusion that iMovie, CuteCut and KineMaster are the three best video editors for the mobile phones so if you're on iOS you can use iMovie and CuteCut and KineMaster and if you're on Android, then you can use CuteCut and KineMaster. iMovie is not for Android. So, then, if you're thinking that you're going to edit videos as you do it on After Effects and Final Cut Pro X on Mac, then you're wrong because they don't have the features that the PC editors has. For example, if you see that I did it this video with Final Cut Pro X on the computer, you'll be wanting to do that with the mobile phone, but you know, that is not possible. So let's see what I made with Final Cut Pro X. So did you see the transitions? These transitions cannot be applied using your phone. You need to have After Effects or Final Cut Pro. So I'm telling it to you right now, if you want to be a professional video editor, just switch to the computer. If you just want to do light editing, then you're right with mobile phones because the features have no problems. They can be used very easily. Yeah, so that's not a problem. And iMovie is the most easy and simple of all which is for iOS you just have to drag the videos and there you go you have it 
combined if you want to trim it you can trim it and there are many features that are you know really simple but it does not give you a really free hand so you can not start a youtube channel on imovie because there are many things that you will be lacking on that so i prefer to use cute cut if you want to start a youtube channel on your mobile phone so that's really great because you have the features that you will be needing and you know you just can go too professional but it's you know a medium level that's you know enough actually the reason i prefer cute girl over imovie is because i imovie cannot have layers while cute kid can have layers so you can have a picture up on your video or a video up on your video your main video which is you know really important for uh, you know video to have so i'm going to video video and picture and picture but uh, after all these are some really good uh, video editors so you can choose for yourself because it's not so much time consuming so you can check it all by yourself so yeah but as you saw these all editors are really simple and Till now I made all my videos with, with mobile phone and they worked really well. So I had no problem, I made my videos with mobile phone, I edited them and I then uploaded them with the same phone. So it's so easy to do it like this. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more just like this. Peace out.